Good morning and welcome to my video. Today I've got some beautiful soft lighting coming through my window in my bedroom and I thought why not just do some makeup there so that those who are curious about how it looks in the normal light can see. Now I'm starting off with a little bit of e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is one of my all-time favorites. It is a cruelty-free vegan. It doesn't have most of the bad stuff in it. It's velvety. You just need a little tiny bit, and I work it straight into my nose where I have those big pores and a little bit under my eyes because it does beautifully there. It's really best for normal to dry skin because it's really hydrating. And we're gonna use the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Liquid Foundation. This is not one that I normally wear, but I wanted to show it because it's transfer water and sweat resistant, which makes it absolutely perfect if you're going through menopause and you're getting those sweaty times or you're in the gym a lot. It's an up to 30 wear formula. It's very light on the skin. It is full coverage and it provides a matte finish. One of the great things about this is that there are so many different colors available from the very fair to the very dark. And one important thing to note is that you need to apply it slowly in sections because it does dry quickly and it is best suited for combination and oily skin. Now I've only brought a small selection of makeup to my room because I didn't want to cart the entire load with me. So I very lazily have used just a little bit of my Missolo foundation under my eyes. Next up, I'm going to use my contour stick. It's got a little bit of a shimmer in it to just bring a little bit of warmth to my face and to use it kind of like a blush too. Now don't bother writing these things down. Everything will be in the description for you and it will also be in the top comment. So no worries, it's all there for you with links. And for the most part, it's all in my Amazon store as well. If you need that link, just let me know. By the way, I'm not allowed to say things like I appreciate you buying from my Amazon store, so I won't, because that would be against Amazon's rules. Moving right along, we're going to use the No Budge Vinyl Color by Maybelline. It's long wearing, up to 16 hours, instant shine, and a comfortable feel. I think the most important thing about this to know is that you have to shake it really well before you apply it. My experience with this is that it lasts about six hours. As long as I'm not eating greasy food, it's gonna stick with me for eight. I don't have to wear a lip liner with it. Two things, don't bring it all the way out to the corners of your mouth and make sure that you give it plenty of time to dry before you move on. Now the natural lighting I think is working out pretty well for the video. However, it's kind of difficult for me to see and I was a little concerned that I might have some pores showing. So I went ahead and hit a couple of areas on my face with my pharmacy finishing powder in translucent. It's got a little blurring agent in it. So it just kind of makes things look a little bit more perfect. I've chosen a skinny brow template and I'm just using my iMethod Beauty brow stamp kit here to plunge that onto my face. That sounds funny, doesn't it? I do have some brow hairs. They're very, very fine and very, very light though, so they don't show up well. And to make matters worse, both of my eyebrows are totally different. So for me, it's really important to make sure I get the shape right. And these little cheater stencils help me quite a bit. If you're trying one of these for the first time, it takes a little bit of time to get used to it. So be patient if you don't get it perfect the first time or the 20th time. And then take a Q-tip or a little brush and just thin that section out on the inner part and even maybe on the outer part if it's looking a little unnatural. When I first started using these eyebrow kits, I actually had to use a piece of tape to help me hold it in place. And then to get them to be even, I would actually tape both of them on my face at the same time to just make sure they were even before I even started. Once you get it down, I promise you it's easy then. Some people that already have nicely shaped brows can just plunk them on and they're just perfect, you know, from the get-go. But that was not me. While I was being a chatty Cathy, I started with the Bare Minerals Balance and Blur Eyeshadow Palette, the one in Dusk. And I just used that lightest color and applied it all over my lid. And now I'm taking that brown and working it into where my eye socket is. Once I get the depth of color I'm looking for, I'll just start using windshield wiper strokes to blend it out. This is actually a fingertip friendly eyeshadow powder. There's hardly any fallout and it resists creasing and blends like a dream. 
I have another video that I created recently that shows where I only used my fingers to apply this and it turned out beautifully. But I have to admit when I saw that it was called Bounce and Blur and that it had a little bit of a blurring agent in there, I got really excited and took it way too far in my mind. So by the time it arrived in the mail, I was super excited and had decided that it was going to make my eyelids look like they did when I was in my 20s. The package entered my house and I literally sprinted toward my makeup table, removed the packaging, plunged my fingers into it, and was pretty excited about the feel of it because it has a really creamy feel for being a powder. I removed my eye makeup and immediately started playing around with it. Well, I didn't get all of my eye makeup off, and when I did put the color on, of course, my eyelids did not transform to my 20-year-old self. So I was sitting there like, well, crud. That wasn't what I was looking for. So I put it away a little disappointed, went to bed, and decided I would try it a couple of more times before I made a decision about it. The second time I used it was on a clean, well-rested face. This time I had very low expectations, and I was very excited when I put it on and realized that it's actually gorgeous. Two morals of the story here. Number one, before you trash brand new makeup that you were excited about, manage your expectations. Number two, make sure you give your makeup a chance. A minimum of three times before you decide you're never going to use it again. And even then, maybe just store it away for a little bit because chances are you can use it for something else or you may actually find out that you were using it wrong and then when you figure it out, you don't want to have wasted that money. Now on a serious note, thank you so much for being here and watching this video. If I've provided you with any value today, please hit like and subscribe. This tells YouTube this channel is important to me and I want to see more of their videos. Once you're subscribed, if you turn on your notifications, you'll know anytime I go live or when I post a video also. And I post a video every single day. I post one longer video, sometimes in the form of a live, and then I post short videos the rest of the week. But I've got you covered every day. I'm here for you. Now I'm just finishing this look off with my Blink Cosmetics Tubing Mascara. If you've watched a video of mine on mascara, you know that I love tubing mascaras because they do not run on your face or smudge. So for you girlies with really oily skin, no more raccoon eyes. I'm adding just a little finishing touch on that eyeshadow and I think it turned out pretty nice. And now you know what my face and makeup looks like in everyday lighting. Then I'm just adding a few finishing touches like my new magnetic bracelet that I got at Kato and my new black hoop bling earrings. Makeup and a little bit of bling can turn your frown upside down. Have an amazing day and God willing, I'll see you tomorrow.